Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can enhance your motions with hand gestures using the Edit Motion Layer tool and the dedicated gesture tracks in the timeline. Adding hand gestures to your motions provides an extra level of customization that can give your character more expressive movements and personality. You can find the gesture subtracks under your character's main motion track. Let's start off by looking at how to add in simple hand gesture clips first. You can find a library of hand gesture animations and poses in the Content Manager under the Animation category. You can right click on any gesture to find the pack it came from, in this case it's the embedded animation pack that comes free with iClone. To apply any gesture, you can double click it or click and drag from the Content Manager to your character. When you apply it, you'll see motion clips appear in the left and right hand subtracks for the duration of your project. Upon playback, you'll see that the hands will remain at that position. You can click and drag the keyframe in the main gesture track to move both subclips simultaneously, or move them individually in their respective tracks. Under the Animation menu, you have an option to determine if the Applied Gesture Clips apply to both hands or one or the other. If I select right hand only and apply this new gesture, you can see it will apply as a second clip only on the right hand. When applied, it will automatically create a transition area to blend the two gesture clips together. You can edit this transition area for slower or quicker blending. If you right click on the second clip, you have the option to use a transition curve preset for this transition area as well. Some presets will work better than others depending on your scenario, and in this case you can see that a smooth ease and out preset works just fine. Now when you're editing the individual fingers, you're going to use the Edit Motion Layer tool. You can bring up this tool in various ways, but the easiest is to simply double click in any of the motion layer tracks in the timeline. Be aware that doing so will add a keyframe though. If you select Set Key, it will add an absolute key, which means a keyframe will be added to every bone subtrack, although here we can only see the fingers. If you click and drag on the palm dummy in the Edit Motion Layer tool window, you can open or close all five fingers simultaneously. In this case, a keyframe is also added to the left fingers track as we have full body mode on. To avoid this, ensure that you're in body part mode and try again. Now there will be no keyframe in the left fingers track. If you hit the reset button, this will revert any finger editing you made in the Edit Motion Layer tool back to the data from the original gesture clip above it. If you hold the control key, you can multi-select different bones, then left click and drag to move all the selected bones simultaneously. Because we made these edits at the first frame of the second clip in the right hand track, they will remain for the duration of the entire clip unless we make changes further down the timeline. Here is a comparison of the different layers of editing we did. First, we applied a simple pointing gesture. Then we did some minor editing to the thumb position in the Edit Motion Layer tool. Combined, we have a completed custom gesture result that you can see on the right. You can easily save this gesture for future use by going to the Gesture subtrack under the Custom tab in your Content Manager and hitting Save. If you're in that folder already, the category will already be set to Gesture, and afterwards you'll see your Gesture thumbnail appear in your Custom Gesture Content Library. Now you can reapply this gesture on top of any animation, and you'll see that it will retain all of the data from the edits we made in a single gesture clip. That's it for this simple tutorial about the basics of editing and saving gestures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.